Have you ever come across a strange, slimy globule in your front yard that resembles vomit or bird droppings? Chances are you've stumbled upon a slime mold, a fascinating and harmless single-celled organism that comes in over 900 different species. Despite their unsavory appearance, these molds are anything but disgusting. They prefer to feed on decaying leaves and microorganisms, and they won't harm living things. So if you're worried about them eating your brain, don't worry about that. That's not a thing. But don't be fooled by their unassuming nature. When food becomes scarce, these organisms can band together and form new structures. And get this, scientists have discovered that despite lacking a brain, they can learn to navigate mazes. Pretty incredible, right? On turf grass leaves, slime molds can cause the formation of small pustules known as sporangia. They can appear in shades of purple, gray, white, yellow, or orange. Before they become crusty, fruiting bodies, the affected patches of turf have a slimy, oily, or greasy appearance due to the slime mold's body, or plasmodium. These fruiting bodies, which are the size of a pinhead, can number in the thousands and can be seen embedded in the crusty residue on leaf surfaces. When the sporangia are damaged, Spores are released into the air and water and can be dispersed by lawnmowers, pets, or even your own feet. Slime molds are most prevalent following a period of cloudy, wet weather, which typically occurs in late spring and summer. They usually appear in shaded, wet areas, but occasionally cover the majority of a lawn surface. While they don't directly damage encrusted grass blades, their growth can cause mild yellowing and decreased plant vigor due to the shading effect. But there is more to these slimy creatures than meets the eye. The bright yellow plasmodial slime mold we see after a rainstorm is just one of many different types, each with its own unique shape and color. In fact, scientists have been astounded by their ability to find the shortest path between two points and develop efficient transportation networks that resemble real-world highways and byways. These incredible abilities have sparked interest in the scientific community, with researchers exploring possible applications in urban planning, traffic engineering, and other fields using molds, slime molds, to navigate these mazes to find the shortest path between two points, the most efficient routes. Who knows? Maybe slime molds will pave the way for a brighter future. It's amazing to think that such a simple organism could hold the key to some of our most complex problems. So the next time you come across a slime mold, take a moment to appreciate its unique beauty and the wonders of nature. These are Interesting Things with J.C.